You've just heard Cape Town Mayor Dan Plato allegedly saying that uh, people who move to the Western Cape can't think for themselves. Let's bring you uh, that uh, video. In fact, let's try and do that. It was filmed on Tuesday at a community meeting in Westridge, Mitchell's Plain, which the mayor was attending. Neither the mayor nor his friend realized that the mic was on and that the camera was rolling. We reached out to the mayor, who says the clip has been taken out of context of a 23-minute question and answer session, and therefore he won't comment. The national spokesperson of the DA, Soli Malazi, and DA Shadow Minister for Public Enterprises, Natasha Mazzoni, did not respond to questions sent before we went on air. And uh, if you're saying to me, yes, I can start... Look, let me say to you, all the problems, you see how we must trim the budgets. We pay, currently as we speak, 99% of those coming into the Western Cape. The two of us pay for them. They can't fend for themselves. Lots and lots of our budgets go into them. Unfortunately, and that is a challenge, a major challenge. One needs to be bear that in mind. Um, I don't have a problem with people coming in. It says to me that people from every part of the other rest of Africa yeah, sees up. this, sees mm -hmm. this as a land of opportunity. Mm -hmm. If I take a look, if I take a look at the the guys from the Congo, if I take a look at the Malawians, if I take a look at the Zimbabweans, they've got a far better work ethic than their own people. And, and they take work often that our own people don't want. And though when I look at our own people who aren't getting up and aren't being driven, I don't have a problem with them yeah. being to work. Yeah. Uh, the, the question is that we have opportunity to be able to create jobs, we have to create companies, and the, the, the problem is that we can't give all jobs as in, in government jobs. We do need to be able to acknowledge yeah. this. The yeah, spokesperson Soli Maladzi, who has subsequently turned down the interview saying he's got a family emergency, but we are hoping to speak to the reporter who recorded this video at the top of the hour. That's at 8 tonight.